All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the color of items right on your custom live wallpaper without going into the advanced editor. And just to show you an idea of what I'm talking about, uh, let's look at these like this red gear here, this red gear here. I just have it called medium gear. If I tap this button, um, notice that this color changes, but it's also changing the color of those uh, medium gear. So as you can see, you know, I got a green and it's matching up with that. Uh, the small gear, this little guy here, this little one here, if I press it a couple times, you see it changing. And um, everything, whoops, everything I, I have up here, I can change something. Seconds. The second hand, if I press that button, notice I can change my second hand. So, you know, maybe you get the idea. Um, and actually, if I press either dark or if I press skittles, let me press dark. Uh, see how it kind of gives it a little dark theme. If I press skittles, then bam, you know, it apply some crazy colors to it. But that's what I'm going to show you how to do. And I'm not inside of my advanced editor. So that's what I want to show you uh, how to set your wallpaper up to do that. So let's go inside of KLWP. And I'm going to do a very basic setup here um, just to give you the idea. So I'm going to load a preset and we're going to do a blank one. All right, and for the sake of this video, let's make it easy. Let's uh, go ahead and go over to globals. And here's how you want to define your uh, colors. I'm going to add a couple of colors and I'm going to call them one. I'll come back and define some colors in a second. I'm going to add one and call it two, three. Let's just do four colors for right now because that the more colors you add, it's going to have a different effect on your coating, but uh, nothing too crazy. So let's go ahead and do some colors. Let's do red. Let's do a blue. Let's do a green. And we'll do a yellow. That way they'll stand out. Okay, so I got these colors. And again, you want to call them numbers, and I have a reason for that. So we're going to come back in here into globals in a second and add some more things. But for now, let's go ahead and add some shapes. And um, I'm going to treat this kind of like the gears. I, I, I'm going to show you how we can change these shape colors uh, based on something that we do right inside of our custom live wallpaper. So here's a square. I'm going to pop this in the top left corner. And let me go ahead and add another shape. And let's do a circle. And let's put it in the top right. Now, you can do this for as many things as you want. So, and I'm going to pop this guy up in the top right corner. Whoops. All right. Now, we got to create some buttons because we want to create some buttons. I'll throw some buttons down here to actually, um, as I touch these buttons, I mean, heck, you can actually change the color. If you recall, you know, I was touching the, the words up there and the words or that little circle beside each word earlier in the first part of the video was actually changing that. We can actually make these the buttons and we can change the colors. Um, uh, well, I'll do it like that. Why not? I'll have these two here. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, since I have a square and I have a circle, um, in the first part of the video, I had like big gear, small gear, second hand, and all that stuff. What we need to do is go back into globals. We need to create a text global variable for each one that we want to change the color of. Now, you don't have to call it square, but I'm going to call it square. Let's create a text global variable, and let's call it square. Just a point of reference. And then um, let's set that text global variable. You can set it to whatever you, whatever number you want. I'm just going to start with one. Um, just to, It's going to match up with this red in a minute, and you'll soon see that. And let's add one more global variable for our circle. So circle, and make sure you make it a text. All right. And like I said, I mean, you can apply the code I'm getting ready to give you. I'm going to give this a two. All right, so what we have to do is we have to have a way to map these numbers in these text global variables, a way to map them to these numbers here. So notice we have four colors. Um, so basically what I want to do is I want to have a way that I can, you know, make this text global variable go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, you could make it go backwards, but for now I'm just going to make it go one, two, three, four. And I want to do the same thing for circle, and I want it to change only when I trigger it to. And then not only that, we have to make sure that that number is corresponding to the color. It might sound kind of crazy. Well, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and go to shape and this, this uh, square that I created here. Let's go ahead and 
let's make it our button and we're going to make the color change. So everything's going to happen as we touch this square. It's going to change the uh, square color. So I'm going to go to touch plus and let's toggle a global switch. And the global switch I want to toggle is square since I'm inside a square. Now, since we have four colors, here is the code that we want to do. We want to say, I forget, I got to use my cell phone now for the dollar symbols and stuff like that. So if GV square, this is that text global variable that we just created, is now how many numbers, how many colors do we have? Four, right? We had it labeled one, two, three, and four. So um, let's say if the text global variable is less than four, what we want to do every time we touch this, we want to add one to it. Anytime it's less than four, I want to keep adding one. So if it's one, it goes to two. If it's two, it goes to three. If it's three, it goes to four. So let me show you how to do that. If GV square is less than four, let's take that global variable square. Notice my commas and let's add one to it. Now, so if it's less than four, we're gonna add one to it. If it's not less than four, we want it to start back over, and remember my first color I had was labeled one. So this little code right here is going to um, cycle this text global variable square. If it's less than four, it's gonna add one. And when it's not less than four, it's gonna knock it back to one. So it'll go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. That's done. Let's apply something very similar to our, well, what the heck. I'll go ahead and do the color now. Now, how do we get this color to work like that? So I'm going to go to paint, and let's go to the paint. We're still inside of our square, and I'm going to go and do a code here. Now, remember how we had, now this is what you don't want to do. If I do GV1, uh, remember how we had a, a text global var variable color for one? Um, I think it was red, so, you know, GV1, bam. But it's not going to change. What we have to do, and let me go ahead and save this and go back to the home screen. So, boom, nothing's happening. Now, let me explain some of the logic behind this, too. Okay, I'm going to do a little text item just to talk about this a little bit more. You know me, I want to make sure you understand everything that's going on. So, uh, text let's say GV square that's Q U A R E so all this is going to give me right now this is just for demonstration purposes and teaching purposes so GV square and I'm gonna say um square is one so square squ why do I keep doing squat square is one let's do circle I cannot type today is GV, and remember I think we did call that circle, didn't we? Alright, so circle we had it set to 2. If you remember that, we set that back to 2 earlier. Now, I'm going to position this at the bottom. J again, you don't have to do this when you're making your, uh, when you're doing this piece. But let me save this. Let me go back to my home screen. And now, okay, remember we made this a button, and notice this square is changing. It's going 2, 3, 4. One, whoops, gosh, it? Right. One, two, three, four. One, two, and that's what that code we just did for touch. Remember, we said if it's less than four, it's going to add one to it. If it's not less than four, it's going to reset it back to one, or it's going to set it to one. Now, I haven't set anything to my circle. However, um, you know this is working great, but it's not corresponding to the color. So, how do we fix that? We have to go back to that global variable paint. So I'm inside of, I don't want to be inside of my text. I want to go back to that square. I want to go to paint, and I have to change the code a little bit. So I have to do GV, and now I have to do GV again and put square. And I did squate again. Now, check that out. So really, it's taking global variable, and then remember, that GV square we created, we gave the text global variable square and circle, we gave them values of like one. And now that we do this, if I check this and I save this, now this text global variable here is going to be GV1 or GV2 or GV3 or GV4, which is going to correspond to those colors, because right here, this is a number based on that code we did um, 
for the touch of the square. So we're doing GV, GV square. Let's save this. Let's go back to the home screen. And now square is one. That's red. Now when I tap square again, this is, this is the stupid program. <laughs> All right, there we go. Square is two. I think that was a blue. Well, it's changing colors. Why does it keep doing this? Okay, I'm going to use my finger. I touched it again. There's squares three, green. I think four was yellow. So squares four, now I notice it changes to yellow. And all I'm doing is I'm just touching this up here, but I'm trying not to use my pen so much because as you can see, the background starts popping up, the little uh, Nova launcher thing. But uh, there you go. That's how you can change it. And now I'm not inside of my advanced editor. So to do circle, we have to do something very similar. And I'm just going to walk through it again through you step by step to make sure you got this. So I'm going to go to circle. And I'll tell you what, here's how we can, nope, we can't, well, we could copy and paste some text, but I'm not going to. All right, touch. So when we touch this circle, I want the circle to change colors. But keep in mind, you can apply the same code or whatever I did. You can apply that code to any object on your custom live wallpaper. You don't have to apply it to the thing that you're actually, you don't have to touch and make that color change. I'm just kind of killing two birds with one stone, showing you how you can touch and how we trigger that uh, global variable and how we change the color. So touch, um, when I touch this thing, I want to toggle a global switch and I want to toggle the circle. And I want to do something very similar to that code I just used and I should have saved it in my favorites. So if GV circle, I don't know if it needs to be capitalized or not, but if it's less than four, of course, you don't have to do four. You could just let this be colors one and colors two, but I'm just going to do four colors anyway. But if it's less than four, we want to check, take that global variable circle and we want to add one to it. So take GV circle, add one to it. And if it's not less than four, we want to send it back to one. So this is doing that same thing that uh, the square does. One, two, three, four. Now circle is going to do a one, two, three, four but you can change them independently of each other since we have two separate you know, global switches, um, one for square and one for circle. And now we just have to remember, now we have to go back to the paint for that particular shape. So if I go boom, and uh, remember you have to do GV, and now uh, if you just type in a number, it's gonna always be that particular color, whatever I set my color to three, but if I do GV, GV circle, Remember, GV circle will change from a 1 to a 2 to a 3 to a 4. So it'll be GV1, GV2, GV3, GV4, or how many ever colors you add. Um, check that, save it, and let's test and see if this thing is working. So blue circle is 2, and if you remember, we did set the number 2 as a color to blue. Let me go ahead and touch circle. Now notice it changed to 3. There's our green. I'm touching it again. I knew that was going to happen again, but... Um, that's again, that's just the Samsung side sync, not like in my Wacom tablet. But I touch it, there's four, and now it should go back to one when I touch it. There we go. Now notice both of them are one, both of them are red. But you can change these independently of each other. And that's what I like about that, without having to go back into the advanced editor. Now keep in mind, you probably have the whole idea. What we can do is, uh, oh, check this out. This might be pretty neat. Let me add another shape just to give you some ideas. And let's make this a oval. I'm going to position this in the center of my screen. But I don't want to move it. I want to change its size. All right, so just getting some size to it. Now watch this. So remember, these were our buttons and we've already seen the color change. Now, go over here to FX for that shape Let's do a uh, let's do a radial gradient, and let's apply the same codes, not not the touch codes. All I want to do here is apply the the color code. So um, for the color of my outside, because notice it's black right now, so this is going to be the outside piece. Let's let that be the whatever the the GV circle is. So all I have to do here is check on that, go to my code, and do GV GV circle. So, um, GV, GV, circle. Boom, boom. Don't forget your parentheses. Check. 
So now this blue is going to match whatever color this is. Now let me go back to the original paint. Now notice this is white. The inside of that oval right there is white. Well, if we, let's go apply the GV square one. So remember we have to do GV, GV square here. Again, this is not the touch anymore. This is just applying the color. So close it up twice. Bam, I think we're good. See? So the square color is the inside one. The circle color is the outside one. Let me save this, go back to my home screen. And now these are still my buttons. So if I touch this one, it should change the square color and that inside gradient. See that? When that's blue, blue. But um, look, see green? Pretty cool, huh? There's a yellow. You can't even tell a big difference between the green and the yellow, really. But uh, there you go. You know, red, the outside one. Remember, we set the circle to the outside one, the green to the inside one, that square. But uh, there you have it. That is how you can change colors right on your custom live wallpaper without going back into the advanced editor. And you can change them on the fly. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.